natin nyo. Happy 100! <laughs> The Augustinian missionaries in the Philippines accepted the town of Candaba as a house of their order and aggregated it as a visita of the convent of Calumpit. Calumpit was the center of Christian faith then and was still part of Pampanga until 1755. 1665 Fray Jose de la Cruz, OSA started the construction of the present church edifice which was completed in the year 1669. He also led the building of the churches of Betis and Mexico. 1596 The convent of Candaba was converted into a school called Estudio Gramatica or Grammar School. The school was transferred to Labau on a later date. 1881, Fray Antonio Bravo OSA led the building of the three-story church belfry. The first two bells dedicated to the Nuestra Señora de Consolación and to San Agustin were bestowed by Fray Esteban Ibias OSA. The inscription on the bell dedicated to San Agustin reads, San Agustin Siendro Cura Paroco. ELMB Esteban Ibias, 1881, Hilario Sonico. Other bells dedicated to El Sagrado Corazon de Jesus. San Jose and San Andres were donated afterwards. 1890. Fray Antonio Bravo installed a bell dedicated to the Santissima Trinidad. Or Blessed Trinity, weighing approximately 1.311 kilos. The bell is regarded as the biggest and best sounding bell in the whole province of Pampanga. 1994. During the term of Messenger Sunovia M. Lomanog, a strong twister destroyed the belfry. Soon after, he led the repair and fortification of the structure. The, the belfry now stands majestic and stronger than ever. 1946 During the term of Reverend Father Felipe Roque, the old Spanish convent was converted into a school named St. Andrew's Academy, now St. Andrew's Archdiocesan School of Candaba. 1599. Pray Mateo Peralta, OSA, give a contribution of 100 pesos and 100 bushel of rice to San Agustin Monastery in Intramuros, Manila, on behalf of the faithful of Candaba. 1960, the church dome was severely damaged by a strong typhoon that hit Central Zone. Reverend Father Benvendito Mahalindol decided to have the church dome removed due to the danger that it imposes to church goers. The damaged old church roof was also renovated during his term. 1897, the Paris administration was transferred to Filipino secular clergy. 
Father Eulogio Ocampo became the Paris priest of Candaba. 1878, Fray Esteban Ives OSA commissioned the construction of the grandiose church dome. 1996, the stage was constructed in the patio, followed by extensive landscaping around the church's vicinity. On this year, the church's patio was named as Marian Park. 2004, Reverend Father Justada, Austria, led the construction of the chapel of the Holy Eucharist at the back of the church belfry. 2015, the people of Candaba commemorated the 440th founding anniversary of St. Andrew Parish through a Thanksgiving Mass presided by Most Reverend Florentino Laviarias, Archbishop of San Fernando and other activities in celebration of the Paris rich history.
So for today's vlog, andito po tayo. Andito po tayo sa lab. Kakautoy! Maraming salamat po sa walang sawang suporta nyo. Happy 100! <laughs> Hello mga kautoy! Maraming salamat po sa walang sawang suporta nyo. Happy 1K subscribers! Yeah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>